Cornflowers are starting to come on. Nice blue. Nice blue flower. Quite an intense blue. These are the um, California poppies. California poppies. These sort of grey, greyish green, grey greeny blue coloured sort of leaves. Um, and these are the poppy flowers just coming out here. It won't be long before they're flowering. There was one out yesterday, but I think I got hit by the whippersnipper. There's a fragment of it there. It's a very simple flower. It's a petal of it. <laughs> Uh, there's an orange one. They're all different colours. These are dahlias, these are a dwarf dahlia. Quite small flowers on them, but nice. These are an older style tall dahlia. They're not flowering yet, but they will later in summer. These are calendulas, otherwise known as English marigolds. They're always like calendulas. Uh, they're just starting to flower now. It took a while for the main body of the plant to grow, but there's a lot of new buds on the way. And uh, one of these ones just looks like it's been eaten. And you can see all the calendula seeds there. This flower's finished. If I save, dry them out and save them up, and I'll have some for next year. Over here, I've got the foxglove. They've really come on well. There's three stems off this plant now. This is about three years old, this plant. they got these nice bell-like flowers on them. They're a great flower. One of my favourite flowers, I'd say, in the foxglove. Been doing some work on the lawn here. Been doing some thatching. Yeah, that's right. These are agapanthers that I pulled out. They came from over there, and uh, in, in their place, I planted some red robins. Um, so they're coming on really well. Just trimmed the hedge back. It's been trimmed down quite a bit, about a foot lower than what it used to be. There's quite a bit of wood showing there, but it was getting a bit higher. It's starting to match the other side now with the driveway where I planted a hedge a few years after this one. And now finally at the luck of a happy time when they can be almost the same height and they're all matching. It's taken a while to get to this point. Probably three. Three years I'd say. This is the lawn that I scalped. A couple of new plants that I've got. Um, I tend to use Daly's fruit tree nursery in Clay Oval. Um, they're really, really good. The plants always come in really, really good condition. They're very healthy. They package them really well, so they can travel. Be delivered by post in a cardboard box, but they always look great. Even if they've been tumbled around a bit, they package them such so that they don't spill or anything like that. And they're always wrapped up in plastic, so they're not. They don't lose moisture. So I really re recommend Daly's fruit tree nursery in Clay Oval. I've, I've used them for most of my trees. So what I've got here. It's two uh, claret, um, sorry, so what I've got here is two Merlot grapes and the centre plant here is a Camellia sinensis which is a tea, tea plant, it's in my a cup of tea. Um, so tea is in the Camellia family similar to other Camellias I've got here in the front garden. Um, so wherever you've got Camellias growing, whether that's Camellia japonica or the other varieties, if they grow well wherever you are, then the tea will grow well too. So, another job for today is to plant those. <coughs> this is the Merlot grapes, wine grapes. Here's the tea plant here. 